Are you one of the 12.1 crore people in India who use BSNL? Are you annoyed by ads while you browse the internet? Then this video is for you. Amongst the numerous net neutrality violations reported to us, one of the more interesting responses was that of users complaining of code injections by BSNL. We decided to look into this issue further and found various complaints across social media and many discussion platforms. So Tejasi, what are code injections? I promise you, code injections isn't as technical as it sounds. These injections is used by an attacker to introduce or inject a code into a vulnerable computer system. These injections may lead to detrimental consequences such as unauthorized access to systems, compromised safety and integrity of sensitive data, denied access and much more. So when am I under attack? If you look at your address bar and see a lock on the top left corner, then you're not under attack. This means that the website you're using is on HTTPS. HTTPS here stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. Now, as you might imagine, this is way more secure than the original HTTP, wherein the communication between your browser and the website is not encrypted. Okay, so hold on. What does this have to do with code injections? Right. So these code injections from BSNL permit ads to be injected on HTTP sites. While you might think that almost all websites have converted or switched to the more secure HTTPS, that is not the case. Almost 20% of the world's largest 502 websites are yet to switch over to HTTPS. So even if you think you're not affected by it, you might just well be. Okay, I guess I understand what's wrong here, but what has IFF done about it? We wrote to BSNL in May 2019. Great. But they didn't respond to us. We then wrote a complaint to DOT. Okay. But they didn't respond to us either. We filed an incident report with certain. Let me guess. Well, on a positive note, we did receive a response to the RTA applications filed with BSNL and DOT. BSNL did in fact confirm the existence of these code injections. But they claimed that there was no malware in their code. But this goes against what was discovered by one of the security researchers we spoke. At the very least, an RTI response confirmed that certain had written to BSNL, indicating that some action had been initiated. So you're saying BSNL didn't provide any information about this? Well, they said that they couldn't as it would violate commercial confidence and harm BSNL's competitive position. Annoyed by the lack of response in action, here's what we did. So we conducted an informal survey and we received about 70 responses, so which were very grateful. Here are the things we learned from that survey. Firstly, the first code injection was noticed in 2015. Secondly, around 50% of users reported that the ads they viewed belonged to BSNL, around 36% of the ads belonged to entertainment category, and the rest were a collection of random ads. Thirdly, users reported these injections affecting them in a variety of ways from reduced productivity, slow or delayed access to the internet, increased concerns about privacy and a general sense of worry. Fourthly, around 77% of users reported that they hadn't filed a complaint with BSL. But this isn't surprising because 85% of users reported that they didn't know how to file a complaint or where to do so. To understand this issue further, we analyze some of the code that is being injected. The code indicated that a host of information is being shared presumably with third party. Now note that this information does not only include information about the website being visited, but also information that could potentially identify the users. When information is shared with third parties, it is usually done in an aggregated manner so that the advertisers cannot directly know who the users are. But it seems that BSNL is sharing information in a non-aggregated manner. Okay, that's pretty scary. So there's more. These injections seem to happen at the beginning of every session, repeating approximately after every hour. Moreover, the frequency of these injections don't seem to change even if you switch browsers. So for example, if you start your browsing session at 7pm on Mozilla and you encounter an injected adware, you then switch to Chrome. So the next ad that you will likely encounter will be on Chrome around 8pm. This indicates that this is some sort of a cookie that is locally stored on your computer. So this is clearly quite concerning. But how legal is this? So the existing legal framework prohibits code injections. Here are two things that BSNL is probably violating. 
Firstly, the Information Technology Act 2000 and secondly, BSNL's own license conditions with the Department of Telecommunication. Okay, so what should we now demand from BSNL? So we have three main demands. Firstly, BSNL needs to end the tyranny of defaults. If they want to continue using such advertising services, they have to make this opt-in, wherein users can consciously consent to opting into this service. Secondly, BSNL needs to come clean. They need to tell us on what basis they arrived at the decision of implementing this and whether they have signed any agreements with third parties about this. Lastly, we need more security. BSNL needs to tell us what sort of security practices they are employing to ensure that bad code isn't injected onto users' browsers. So if you've been affected by these malicious code injections, here's what you can do. We drafted a mail including all of these concerns so you can automatically just send that to BSNL. All you have to do is type in your name and email ID and hit send. You will find this draft model complaint on our website savetheinternet.in and the link is added below. Take this step today and exercise your fundamental right to privacy. Sab ho gaya.